seems to be better than what it should be. We didn't spray any nitrogen on this field. Actually, this is a field I bought and the worker and um, the owner, the, the previous owner, Lanuel, that owned this field did not put any nitrogen on. So, I'm not, yeah. Thanks, Jim. Oh, boy. So, we are kind of right now in the mix of doing our fields. Um, this field is not averaging so well as I wished. Um, right now it is just average. Um, so I gotta count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 rows over. So perfect. Center down. So I'm gonna get in line right now. And we're gonna go pretty much. I have my cruise control set to 5 miles an hour, but we'll probably go 4. Um, I got a brand new header. This is a use. This is new to me. Uh, we do have a Capello header that I have um, that is used. But I got this at an auction, and it's a used 608C uh, chopping corn header. Um, it doesn't have any stock stoppers, nothing too fancy on it. Um, so we're going to run it on this 9650 STS combine. Um, we have grain carts on standby right now, but let's turn on the separator. And the header. Yeah, that is a lot of dust. So these are some dry corn right now, but we got wetter areas. So we're, we are running the grain dryer. We don't have to, but right now this field is literally running. Um, I'll say in some areas, for you know, roughly, roughly 25, 22%. So, obviously that's why there's not that much dust, but it's, it's a struggle. The beans are coming in, not the beans, the corn. I'm sorry, guys. The corn is coming in nicely. I'm actually right now on the edge of the road, the highway, of where the, uh, grain elevator and ethanol plant is. So that's where all the shady spots are. So the crop didn't do as well, but uh, we're gonna open up this field. We got a few fields of soybeans done and out of the way. Uh, so those are right now in the grain bins uh, stored at the moment. We got about, I think a field and a half done, roughly a field. We got one big field done, we got a few more to do. But we are right now, um, just opening up the field. I got uh, Jim right now running the grain cart. He's standing by as we speak. We got two grain carts. So Nate 2.0 is driving the truck. Frank is driving the truck. Jim is driving the grain cart. I said that, didn't I? And then I also have um, a volunteer, um, Josh, who's or 23, I think they call him. Um, that is in the 9870 right now. So we're running, we're running the combine. Uh, the millennial farmer is gonna come out here. Uh, Zach Johnson, he'll Zach will go out and we'll get in the 9870 take over with the Cabello head and see what he thinks of it. Uh, at the moment, I'm waiting for it used. I'm gonna wait for another auction to come on, um, either late this this fall, whatever. It's gonna be a 612C chopping corn header. I'm planning on buying. Um, but I don't know. We'll probably spend the years with this and I'll buy a John Deere and then like we'll just wait it out and see. We'll go look at it. So we got partially this field opened up. Um, we're right now in the corner piece so it's not the best yield but uh, we're, we're not that far away from home. Um, we're about a quarter of a mile from Actually, the main farm. And so, I'm just opening this little portion up, and I'll get the end rows, the headlands done. I don't think I've ever went this fast down the field before. Almost 27 miles an hour, 26, 27 miles an hour down the field. And there's the combine. It's he's full. 
So that is uh, right now unloading into me, and the Malaya farm is now uh, unloading into me. And uh, he's saying that we can probably still go if we wanted to, um, but we're probably just going to have to just open up the field. Uh, we got about two passes with that 12 row compelled ahead, and then I got about one round done with that 8 row. And so he's saying that we can probably do, because that's a 30 foot head we did with a 60 foot planter. So this is just really one pass for a planter. And so he's thinking we should probably do just a two more with that uh, combine, which he thinks I should run and unload on the go. And then just do one more pass down there, unload into there, and then figure out something. So. Uh, he can do what he feels we can do, but we got we got to figure out what's going to be going on because I need to I need to harvest I need to harvest is what I need to do. So we're gonna hop out here while this is running high idle. I'm gonna show you guys. So here's the hopper. We're unloading. It's an older machine, so we're able to hop out while it's unloading. And everything seems to be good on the ground. Um, I have no stocks, really. The paint's coming off, you guys can see that. So it is fairly used. Uh, definitely, I guess, had some rocks go through, and that's mainly what goes through. Let's see how full we are. We got roughly 24,000 in there. Hop up. So it's 1,100 bushel grain cart, I believe, and yeah, that much can hold. So I'm going to figure out, I could probably do another three rounds uh, through here, and then um, we'll have to figure out what we're going to do. Turn the header on, and we'll just go. So I'll do the three heads, headlands here again. And I will cover that, and then unload into the grain car again, and then drive the 90, 9870 uh, over to the um, lovely two other headlands and unload on the go. And then uh, we'll be alright. So, I did get asked uh, while I'm doing these end rows, I'll go ahead and I'll respond to that one comment I had. I had a question by a YouTuber. Um, a while back ago, he uh, had asked me where did I get the STS com combines from. And um, so my response to that, actually, is these STS combines are on the mod hub for all platforms. Um, and so that's, that's the answer. Um, I'll actually, I'll actually pull up the thing and tell you exactly what he said. So, he did ask me as to what, what platform I played on, which, obviously, my PlayStation. But, uh, no, so, yeah, the STS Combines, um, Asher is actually on, um, the Mod Hub right now. Um, it is on all platforms, and you can just go on the, um, website on the Farming Simulator website, I think, where the Mod Hub is, and you can get it. Um, it's, it's on there for Farming Sim it's 22, though, not 19. Um, 19, they didn't release this for consoles, only 22. So, part of the reason why I got it. Um, because the, these combines, I definitely like. And, um, you can tell, I mean, it was a struggle with 19 trying to do, trying to find equipment, especially with the S-Series Combines that, you know, JHHG modding made that didn't have as much compatibility with options, um, than right now, so, definitely a struggle. So we have one more pass we're going to do, and then uh, we're going to unload right into the grind cart, and then that's pretty much about it. I take that back. Jim's 
so we should probably get tillage done. I'll think about it. And no, we're not going to be running this uh, this John Deere disc uh, ripper right now. This one, uh, this one, we're going we're gonna need some time. But I am gonna hook up to our 2410, our uh, not 2410, our. Um, I could probably do it to our chisel plow, but unhook it there. No, what I am going to do is I'm going to hook it up to probably our ripper, our coon ripper, or the 2410 chisel plow. And we'll see uh, what our numbers give us uh, for a few of our fields that we have to get done. I don't think I'll be going on our 2410 chisel plow, but that's beside the point. Or 2730 Ripper, but I think we'll go with this. But I gotta drive quite a ways. Oops. I gotta drive quite a ways down. Um, it's not a. It's not our soybean field. Uh, our soybean field, we won't do tillage. Well, I can start tillage actually. But we're going down to a canola field that uh, they had. So this shall be interesting. Yeah, totally. Tillage went well. Just, you know, it, it totally went well. Uh, no, so by the time you guys are seeing this video, it'll probably be around Monday, I'm assuming. Um, you guys will be seeing this video. So by then, I would probably be already finished with this field. Because um, if you guys haven't, you should check that live stream. Uh, because that's me doing tillage on this field, guaranteed. Uh, no, so really what's going on is um, t we didn't get tillage going at all whatsoever. Uh, Mr. Malaya Farmer thought that that wouldn't be a good idea getting it done. So I was like, all right, that's fine. Uh, we won't worry about it. Um, but Nate's still driving the truck. So is Nate 2.0. And uh, Alan is now um, trying to figure out what's going on at the 9650. Uh, the rotor, for some odd reason on the belt, the auger belt is either warped or something happened on the auger uh, for the header. So, we're getting that fixed, but meanwhile, I'm harvesting with this uh, brand new Capello head. It's new to us anyway. Uh, I always ran that eight row head. So, you know, to have this, it's like, okay. Um, I never really ran one of these on my farm. I always ran John Deere. Something with John Deere, not not really a Capello, so. And we're pretty much all set up. I'm gonna go like right in the middle of the field. And uh go from there. Up the door. We'll just unload into here. So everything just did an emergency shut off now that I'm folding the head. To the middle of the field, you know, I just like folded it to unfold, snout it down, start the head and the separator. I think it seems to be running good. We'll go in here. See, they fixed everything. Oh, yeah, it seems like everything is fixed. So we're going to do just one more row and then uh, see what's going to go on. I'm going to start this one up. We'll go one more row. Lower the head. Yeah, it seems like everything is alright. I don't hear anything wrong. I 
everything is all right. We'll be good. We'll get going and get this field opened up and we'll go probably late tonight. It's October 4th. We got, we only got nine days, so it's mid-October. We're going to get, we're going to get this field knocked out. Um, and then open up a few more soybean fields. I do have a 45 foot um, honeybee header we'll be using on the 9870. Um, that I got an auction as well. I think that'll help with our bigger soybean fields. Um, but we'll figure out what's gonna go on. So, we'll see. Meanwhile, we'll just keep going. So we're gonna Make a big turn here. Nice wine, and we'll just do these end quick end rows right now. I'll give you guys an aerial shot. There I am. So our lovely um, test plots right now. We're doing half a Pioneer and then leather. Um, another day trial so that's why I left these eight rows and the other eight rows on the other end uh, we're kind of just gathering up at the end because these they wanted to test something out before I harvested it so we were able to get the um, the first 12 you know or the first eight over here aside from it but we had to skip the eight rows so just like on the other sign I can't harvest those eight rows yet they're working on that, but I can harvest these eight rows. So now, officially, the field is opened up. And, uh... We opened up the field. We're, we're gonna get on it with corn. This is it. This is the last 12 rows. I'm sorry, eight rows. For the headlands. I'm so excited. We're almost at the end of the field, the other end. Unload into the grain cart, and that's it. We opened up this field. I can just go in with the, uh, probably with the 12 row, and just, uh, probably just switch the heads. Probably use the 12 row on this one. Get it done a little bit faster. So I think I'll use the 9870 on this one. I don't know, we'll figure it out. But man. Such a better yield. We have uh, decent spots up here, but from what I'm seeing, it's a lot better than before, so I'm, I'm excited. This, uh, this is definitely a header I've never seen this used before. So it's it's used for sure. But here we are. Here we are. We're gonna go right in. 180 degrees. Last 12 rows. Five miles an hour, guys. 8.5 kilometers. Here we go. About four and a half. This is it. That was it. So I'm gonna shut the head off. Go unload into that grain cart and we'll open up the field.